What up, though, Chestnut? What's up, my boy? What up, though? We just talk about the time in prison that you had. Got 14 years for fucking quitting, triple shooting. Uh, Within your 14 years, you want to tell about how your time in prison was? Well, the first time I went to prison, I was a teenager. But the time you talking about the triple uh, attempt murder was when I went in that time. Well, my sentence was great. My sentence was two for the gun and two to 15. It posed to being two for the gun and two to four. But by me being habitual, that made it two to 15. So the hardest part about it was I thought I could do nothing about six years, maybe seven. I didn't think I would do the whole 14 years you know what I mean? So that burden right there was on me. Another the hard part was seeing my children grow up while I'm in prison. I'm seeing how they elevate growing up. You know what I mean? So like, my, for example, my daughter Deja, when, um, when she first started writing me, it was a scribble scrabble. You know, how the, how the child, you know, write something. You know, scribble scrabble writing. As time went on, her writing got better and as time went on and on and on, she started writing courtesy letters, right? That's why I knew I was locked up a long time. But my little daughter, she was a baby. I come home, she 14 years old. My son Rico, he about 16 in that area. I come home, he 31. So, and everybody thought I was going to do about four years, five years, or six years at the most. But 14, and the, another hard part about it was, I seen people come and go. And I had lesser time than them. I see them come, yeah, I will, will. the next thing I'm ready leaving, and they'll come back, and I'm still there. And I didn't pull through number four years. But uh, that's another story. Another hardship was. You had, did you have any beef in jail during 14 oh, years? I had not one fight. I had not one fight. So it was smooth. I had not one fight. But Joe you know, McQuad's account, out of my whole jail time, from teenager until, you know, to the last time, uh, I only had about three fights all together. Uh, the whole refight. I'm two. I'm helping somebody. One, I started a little something, but you know, that was, that was like I say, most of the time, I had about three fights. Pray now, I ain't had nothing to do with me. It had something to do with God, Allah, for protecting me. Had I, he had a umbrella over me. Allah protected me all through that. He didn't get it, didn't get a scratch. But not because of me. It because God protection of God, protection of Allah. Mm -hmm. So we want to talk about. One of your other cases that you had told me you had got into a like, you had called a kidnapping case with mm -hmm. random people. Yeah, me and random people called a kidnapping case in 1980. It had to be about 1980. And no, I take that back, 1981, because I got shot in 1980. But about 1981, 82, me and random people called a kidnapping case. That's another that's another story. But just around the time where the YBI was split and everything too. Well, we were still kind of together. We basically kind of a little bit split it up, but we, just, <laughs> we got split up, got back together, split up, got back together, got back cool, you know, even after the beef. Because for like one example, Bush gave Wayne back the medallion change. That's another story about the medallion. You know, Bush gave Wayne, Bush tried to get back cool with Wayne. It was just Wayne's mouth and his enthusiasm and, you know, his eagerness. So, cause Wayne had a, a strong drive. He, 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 he was like Tupac. He, Wayne was like Tupac. He was young and had that drive and that talent. Wayne was very talented. Talking about Wayne, um, like Wayne, your best friend. Where was you and how you felt that day we heard Wayne got killed? Uh, where, where, where I was at, I was in prison. Like I said, me and Raymond Peoples, I started hanging out with Raymond Peoples. Me and Raymond Peoples, uh, I got locked up for a kidnapping case. We had called a kidnapping case. But I beat the case, me and Raymond beat the case, but I went back to parole violation, PV. I mean, I'm back, uh, I think I did about 18 months on parole violation. But then that 18 months, Wayne, Wayne got killed. That's when Wayne got killed. Uh, when you got beat the case, you want to talk about a little bit more about the case, uh, how, how you beat it, or? Well, that's, a, that's another long story. That's long, I don't want to get up to the prison, prison, uh -huh. you know, but. I, I, beat, I beat the kidnapping case in the county jail. I met Red Freeman, but I won't be saying no name. I met someone, and they gave me the law, and I, and I, and I, beat, and I went to the court, and I beat it. For the state lawyer. The, rule, the law he gave me was a 180-day ruling. 
That ruling is they got to take you to trial within 180 days. And they didn't take me to trial within 100 days, and I had a parole hold on me. And by that parole hold on me, made me state property. And they didn't take me to trial within, you know, six months. I was like, I did about seven months. I went to trial. I met this good, old, smooth guy. Gave me the law. I went inside the courtroom, like, like he said, I rehearsed and did like, you know, like they said, the old guy said, and I went in there, and I beat the case. I beat the kidnapping case. But like I said, within that, during that time, that's when uh, WW when he got killed and he got killed. And he got killed. Well, speaking of that way and everything, it was like stuff going around on the internet. Like somebody said, like Wayne and you responding to like the situation where you said Wayne and you tip a kidnap with your sister. <laughs> okay, I'm glad you said that, man. Matter of fact, somebody did. Want me to ask, ask me that question? Somebody good on the internet. I don't say no name. Don't put their name on the internet. But he a very known person. He, see, he said it on his interview. Well, anyway, me and Wayne, we weren't just going out to kidnap Bush's sister. Like I'm gonna we go find Bush's sister. We don't just her. Me and Wayne, we ran through the neighborhood and we said, and then we looking for Bush and we say when we ran down Monterey and we said whoever come out of the house, that's what we go kidnap. For anyone like me, Wayne, let's go find Bush's sister. We just go out or just get her and just kidnap her for some ransom money or whatever, whatever. No. Me and Wayne was like, whoever come out the house, that's who we go get. So when that and so when that came out the house, I'm already got the gun basically out the car. So when that come out the house, and then she was like, oh, and then I said, get in the car. And then I was ready in the process. I had to went on to do it. But then I thought about it, I said, how can I kidnap Nick? My little Mo. It's her son. Lil Mo is my best friend. Me and Lil Mo were so tight. Matter of fact, Bush told me this after the beat. Bush told me, nut, <laughs> you and Lil Mo are so cool and so tight. How me and Block, this what Bush said. How me and Block is cool. How me and Block is cool, tight. That's how you, that's how you and Lil Mo is. He said, Bush said, when the time we about to come get you, when it was time for us to come get you, when we had, and Lil Mo, Lil Mo holler and scream and holler and scream, please don't do nothing, nut. Lil Mo love you, nut. That's how close me and Lil Mo is. Me and Lil Mo was tight from day one. Okay? So when I so I was trying to kidnap his mama. So yes, I posed that thing that the thing that happened to me after that, it posed to happen. I'm trying to kidnap my best friend mama, who fed me, go, you know, made sure I, I'm washing me up when I'm over there to run away from home. She got my back when I run from home. Not just the net, not just his mama, Miss Jones too. And I try to, and I'm up like Bush said. I'm right, I'm right up and down his street in front of his mama house. And after everything was over, Bush said, no, ain't no way I would have rolled up and down your street and, and did something to you in front of Miss Chestnut house. And you know how cool me and Miss Chestnut is. Ain't no way I would have did that to you in front. I would never touch you nowhere near Miss Chestnut house. But you ran up and down the street trying to kidnap my sister. But like I say, me and Wayne ain't want no intention. We go right and look for the look for her to kidnap her. No, we just like anybody come down. Come out the house, we go get her. Almost got caught up in a moment. And just... Yeah, I caught. She got caught in a moment, and then, I, then I'm, and I'm in the heat of the moment, and I came to my senses and like, no, we no, pull off. I told Wayne to pull off, and we pull off. Mm -hmm. And everybody, no, nah, I'm not doing that. So for, for all the gangsters, for all the world, that you should have did it. You should have did it anyway. No, I should have did that. Hell, no, I'm, I should have did that. Kill my best, kill not my best friend, mama, man. Little more mama, fuck no. That's crazy as fuck. You know what I mean? So, so, so like I said, all the games, I said, no, nah, I shouldn't have did it. Just like Scarface, when you put everybody on Scarface to blow, to blow the uh, car over the children in. I'm not even doing that to my best friend, mama, who, and she fed me and loved me. I loved the net. And I was a stupid motherfucker for doing that. And I hell fuck yeah, they probably did what they probably did. And, and I probably, true enough, I probably followed it out, but I didn't. Now, not to be somebody else come out the house. You know what I mean? I would've, just like one of, somebody, one of his crew members, or one of, I, yeah, well, I would've kidnapped them, brought them, and bust them out, and find them dead, head cut off, whatever, whatever. But now I'm not gonna do that to my motherfucking best friend, mama, man. So all the ones that I should've did it, fuck you. You know, fuck you, no, no, no. And all the ones mad about me, for sad about that, I love the net. So yeah, I was wrong, and I probably fucking got shot. Cause I'm a real gangster, and, 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 and like Bush said, ain't no way he I put I put a came by Miss Joan house. Bush would never came by my motherfucking mama house, man. 
He would have never did that. That out of respect. But my dumb ass, that's my get in my ear, geek me up on that too. With Doug. That's a whole new different story. But you know what I'm saying, though, homeboy. I might get a little heated up. But I'm tired of people. Hell no, I'm not supposed to do it to my best friend, mom. Earlier you said that you and Mo were close like Butch and Block was. Mm hmm. Like, it's a lot of rumors that Butch is the one that ran Block out of. You know, out of Detroit or block out, you know, ran to California or whatever. If you want to clear up, what, is, is that true or not? Well, Bush and Block was best friends. And the reason I know this is because I was Block's little man. And while Bush locked up, Block talked about Bush every day. Bush this, Bush that. I got, I'm going to keep it real. I got a little jealous. I'm about, 50, I'm about 16 at the time, 16, 17, 15, whatever. I said, dang, Block, you talk about Bush every day. Every day you talk about Bush. What about me? I do everything for you. You got me out here doing crazy. I don't want to do everything for you. But you talk about Bush every day. You say, nothing. Bush is my best friend. We wear the same type of clothes. We the same size. He said, when one of us get locked up, when he come home, you give him some money, you put him in a house, you buy him a car, if your money right. When one of us get locked up, this is what we do. When they come home now, Black just take me to the movies, watch gangster movies, and keep me to, to, to teach me to be loyal to the gang. That's what he was doing. I ain't know then. But like I say, Bush and Black were best friends. Uh, 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 Bush then chased Black out of town. That was not Bush and Block. That was Raymond and, 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 and Block. Raymond chased Block out of town. And Raymond had did some some type of stuff or going back and forth with the connect. Some somewhere bad with the connect with, with that bullshit. But I don't know nothing about I don't know that story, but I heard a little bit about it. But I really don't Raymond know. People, right? it, but Raymond people, he the one chased Block out of town. He was he the one was busting that block. It wasn't Bush. Quiet as Raymond was kind of scared to do it because Block, because Block might get mad. Raymond, he, he did it, but he had to get really like, I hope Bush don't get mad at me for doing this to Block. That's how cool they were. No, Block, no, Bush did not chase Block out of town. That was his best friend. They was best friend. I know this for sure. Okay, and, and, and Lil Mo, when Bush was locked up, and Lil Mo, um, uh, 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 Block, Keaton. Bush whole family, they talk about Bush every day. We talk about Bush every two the day he came home. So that's his best friend. Rami chased him out. For other the reason I want to get into, is uh, some of the details I really don't know, but I know this for sure. It was Raymond who chased Black out of town. Not Bush. Not Bush. Not Bush. Please, when you say something, get it right. Even some of my story might be, I might, I might be off beat a little bit because I'm older now. I might forget a little shit. But how, this might be happen first, this might happen second. Because, oh, I'm 63 years old now. You feel me? So, but like I'm saying, it's Raymond. Raymond chased Black out. Not Bush. I just want to say that. Because mm -hmm. Raymond, Raymond was, we all loved each other one time. But Bush and Black was best friends. So you think like Raymond got killed, you think it had something to do with that? 